I've been wanting to photograph this scene for probably two and a half years now. It's a scene right outside St. Thomas Hospital of tuberculosis patients lying in hospital beds. And this is something that used to happen quite regularly where the beds would be wheeled out. And this particular scene was by the embankment with the view over the River Thames. Big Ben in the background and Westminster uh, Bridge. And I thought it was just such a iconic, beautiful image. I've seen about four or five different black and white images dating roughly from 1913 to 1930, when tuberculosis was pretty intense in London. Been wanting to recreate it for a long time, and I couldn't because, first of all, I didn't get permission from the hospital, even though I tried eight to 10 times. I had it all planned probably three years ago, and Big Ben was being un was under construction, so it wasn't a very, didn't make sense. So now, uh, here we are in March 2023 and doing the shoot, finally. I've been working on this project, uh, Old Father Thames, for about, I would say, probably five years now. And it's recreating historical stories along the River Thames. I would describe my photography as very cinematic, it's very staged, it's nearly like a split second of a, of a film. If you imagine an empty canvas and, and then start creating something on, on the canvas, it's nearly like a painter and I, I wish I could draw otherwise I might have become a painter. But also I'm not a, I'm not a snapper. So my background is, was always working with the 5.4 plate camera. It's very static. It's, a, it's a, normally from a, on a large format camera, on a tripod. I see something in my mind or I read about something that's historic and then I recreate it, what this imagination or whatever I have in my mind. And with that, there's often actors, models, wardrobe, props, locations, and with that also quite big theatrical lighting, special effects like sometimes rain machines or wind machine or smoke machine, mist machine. That's always what I've been drawn to. I can't explain why, but sometimes it can also be very frustrating because it, I'm spending a lot of time producing it, my projects where I just want to be, I just want to take pictures. Oh my God, the light is so nice. Can we get everybody ready, please? Because the light's turning out really nice. Today has been tricky because it's, we're in March and it's freezing and everybody's cold and I needed a license um, to film along the embankment. It was quite complicated. We had to drive big vehicles down the embankment. But I've got a great team of people who are helping and the light was a bit flat, but it's getting more interesting now and I'm hoping that I could possibly still capture some, something more magical than what I have up to now. I hope to find a publisher for this project, Old Father Thames, because I think the stories, some of them people don't really know about, and I think they're very, very interesting. And, and also, apart from being hopefully beautiful pictures, they'll also be educational for people who like to collect art and enjoy photography books. They're not just fashion or regular images. There's actually a real meaning in a story of the history of the River Thames.